we are in Santa Fe at the Food Depot, which I think this is Sherry. Your last name is Sherry. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, Sherry Hooper. I'm Sherry the executive Hooper. director. Mm -hmm. Great. And is this the largest food bank in the Santa Fe area? Yes, the Food Depot is one of five food banks in the state of New Mexico, okay. and we are the food bank that serves in northern New Mexico. So right. our service area is in nine counties okay. in northern New Mexico, which is about 26,000 square miles. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how many how many people were you serving, do you estimate, pre-COVID? Mm -hmm. uh, Pre-COVID, the Food Depot served about 40,000 people each month. Okay. And that's working actually through our partner agencies who are absolutely wonderful and we couldn't do this kind of work without them. So the Food Depot as a traditional food bank, we're providing food and related products to 145 nonprofit food programs like food pantries, soup kitchens, and shelters. Got it. Okay. And I, so I see we do things like diapers and other things, not just well, the Food Depot is really very committed to making sure that we're looking a little more holistically at a family's needs. We were finding that, for example, seniors that we served had pets. They uh -huh. were taking the human food we were providing and feeding oh, their no. pets first. We didn't want that to happen, of course, so we started distributing pet food okay. uh, through our Food for Pets program. Right. So that's really helped out, especially those seniors to keep those pets in their homes, which is maybe their only companion. Uh -huh. uh, and then we also looked at diapers, for example. Our right. Diaper Depot provides diapers in addition to food. And again, looking at if a family has a child and they want to go back to work or back to school and they have to put those children into a daycare, they have to be able to provide disposable diapers to get them into the daycare. Right. And so we thought this was a way that we were helping them be able to go back to work or back to school. Perfect. Great. So, and now since COVID, tell me what you've seen, especially the people that I know never dreamt that they'd be in a line for food assistance prior to COVID and related layoffs and economic impact that all this has had. What have you seen since, you know, March or April of last year? Well, what we've seen at the Food Depot is that certainly that the pandemic has caused a much greater need. Uh -huh. uh, we're helping people who are already receiving some help because they're working in low-paying jobs. Right. And we're working still with a lot of our seniors that we help. But in addition to that, now we're seeing a lot of people who have either had their hours cut or they've lost their jobs completely because of the pandemic. Right. And in some cases, some of them have never required any kind of help before. Right. And they have often been people who have contributed to the food bank. So we're seeing them come through the line. Uh, early in the pandemic, when people were coming through the line, we were literally seeing people in tears yeah. because this is the first time they've ever had to ask for help for their family. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's amazing what you guys are doing here. And it's a cold, morning with snow on the way so okay. won't keep you out here any longer but we've given you a little bit of help and uh, we hope that we're able to come back soon and, and give you some more well thank we, you so much for uh, every dollar that's donated we're able to provide four meals oh that's fantastic so please know how far your donation okay is so thank you. more than a thousand <laughs> <laughs> that's great okay well thanks very much thank Jane. you so much okay all right, so our work here in Santa Fe is done. We've been here for a couple of days. We've checked out the community, nice. and we had that great interview with Sherry Hooper, the executive director of the food bank, Food Depot, which supports a number of food banks and food pantries in the northern New Mexico area. So not Albuquerque, but San Santa Fe, as well as a number of other communities and as you heard, they serve a pretty broad community and a lot of people that six months ago never dreamt they would need the support of a food support bank, pantry, whatever organization. So, a uh, great interview and I think she told you a little bit about the other organizations in that complex. That right. Right, as we drove into the uh, food depot, there is a building that is right in front of the organization. And one of it's called um, Kitchen Meetings. And um, they used to share 
that same building and the people got so big that they ended up not. And this is pre-COVID. Yes, this is all pre-COVID. And um, yes, so Kitchen Angels, they um, have volunteers, they come, food gets donated, volunteers that come, they cook, and then they distribute food to the as well. And it's just a really um, heartwarming uh, community and just reaching out. What I liked, um, which I didn't really think about, was Sherry was talking about the um, being food for, you know, dog food things to, right. you know, and um, other things. And the interesting thing is they do that because they found that their customers, their clients, were actually taking the food here for them and giving it to their pets. So these stories are most definitely heart-wrenching, but heartwarming to see what these people are doing. So. What's so exciting to us is that this was our first stop. And Chris and I have committed to this for the next couple of years, minimum. So uh, we will always remember this. And we really want to thank those who have donated to Rolling Health thus far. And we really need your help going forward. Um, the donation that we gave today is going to provide 12 so and that's thanks to you so yes, thank you bring it on folks <laughs> and we look forward to our next stop thanks for tuning in and goodbye from santa fe stay safe stay happy and stay healthy <laughs>